I don't I don't always do the best when it comes to my emotions in general. I'll just say that. What's up y'all, it's your girl KB and welcome back to the last video in this series, Jealousy in Friendship. This is a four video series. This is video number four. In the first video, we just kind of introduced jealousy, gave you some definitions, gave you a little bit of an intro for what the series would be. In the second video, we talked about what jealousy looks like in friendship, how it plays itself out in the interpersonal dynamics, right? What the actual progression of jealousy and friendship could look like. In the last video, video number three, we talked about what jealousy in friendship looks like on social media, how social media actually plays a part in jealousy and friendship. And in this video, I will be talking talking about what jealousy and friendship has looked like for me personally. One of my friends was like, listen, if you're gonna talk about jealousy and friendship, you are not exempt. You have to share. You have to share your story and how things have, uh, I guess, played out for you. Here's the thing though. So let me just say this. I'm sure you guys already know, yes, I've experienced jealousy and friendship. I've had friends where I've been jealous of a new opportunity that they've gotten. We're vibing in a certain way, we're able to build in a certain way, and now there's a life shift that's happened and now we can't engage in that same way anymore and so then I feel some kind of way about that. So that has kind of been my, my number one issue when it comes to jealousy in friendship. When it comes to emotions, like for me, I don't do well with them because I feel like emotions are hard to control. And if you guys have been following the Heart Combos platform for any time, you know that my thing is control. I am an eight on the Enneagram, wing seven, okay? Um, I pretty much try to avoid being controlled at all cost. Like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not here for it. So then the question becomes, how in the world am I a Christian? Holy Spirit controlling all of this. I Listen, I am constantly reaching for control. So because I know that about myself, there are practical conversations that I've had. There are certain things that you're in control of and certain things that you are not in control of. Let me tell you how many things I'm in control of. Like one of like 50 billion things. <laughs> Something happens in life. I feel some kind of way about it. Then there's a second set of emotions that I feel mainly anger about the fact that I have a first set of emotions. I know it doesn't make any sense, but follow me. What I typically will do then is withdraw so that I don't feel some kind of way about it and can't get mad that I feel some kind of way about it. Does that make sense to anybody? Like, th does that make sense? This happens with jealousy. Really, it happens with any emotion. And it's so weird because I will be in a place about the fact that I'm in relationship with someone. I feel some kind of way towards them. And as I can't always control like how fast that's growing or how that's shifting because emotions are, they're, 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 so, they're such a beautiful thing, but they're not so like one plus one equals two. And when things are one plus one equals two in my life, your girl be on a struggle bus, a straight up struggle bus. So, which is why a lot of heart convos um, is centered around practical conversations, a lot of cognitive, you know, things, thinking, really um, very body centered, like what, what, like just, but that heart center, which is so ironic because it's called heart convos. Listen, it's something that I have to be really intentional about and really surround myself with people who can help pull that stuff out of me. So, jealousy and friendship, is it something I deal with? Yes. I, me, feelings just make me feel some kind of way. This was a this this was messy. <laughs> this one was real messy. It wasn't like a a bow at the end, and it wasn't hard, right? Because it's not a hard conversation. It's heart. It's, it, it's a heart conversation. Heart heart conversation. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this is great though. You guys can continue to walk with me as I'm walking through this. Um, Anyway, listen, thank you so much for joining me in the series. If this is your first video in the series, please go back and watch one, two, and three because if you just go watch this one, you gonna be like, something wrong with this girl. <laughs> for real, okay, anyway. Thank you so much for watching, for liking, for subscribing. I appreciate you guys. Until next time, remember, it's not a hard conversation. It's a heart conversation, y'all. Peace.